many versions of herself from different planes all met and started fighting to be the only remaining version. Before, Before we continue, continue please, please like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this, thank you. In the beginning of the movie, a man named Alex and his wife Vanessa can be seen in front of their house. They just lost their son in a car accident while Vanessa was driving the car. And since then, she has been blaming herself. She has turned into a shadow of her previous self, always staying alone crying and refusing to eat. Alex tried everything possible to make her forget their son, but she couldn't and she gets angry each time her husband mention the name of their dead son. One day Vanessa told Alex that she want to go into the forest and free her mind. Alex told her that she should not go because the forest is dangerous, but Vanessa insisted. Alex gave her a gun and told her to use it and protect herself in vain she saw a bear. Vanessa collected the gun and went into the forest to commit suicide. As she entered the forest, she started searching for where to kill herself when a gun was shot at her. The bullet nearly hit her but she dodged on time. She shot back at the person and hid behind a tree. She wanted to shoot back at the person again that but was shocked when she looked through the gun's microscope. She saw that the person who just shot her looked exactly like her. The person immediately ran away. Vanessa was confused and felt like she is going crazy. She went back to their house immediately. When she got home, she didn't tell anyone what she saw. She stayed in her room refusing to talk to anyone. Alex came to his brother Kelvin who lives with them. He told him of how Vanessa has withdrawn into herself killing herself with guilt. Kelvin promised him that he will talk to her. That night, Vanessa came out for their dinner. Kelvin used the opportunity and told her that she should let go of the past and not blame herself for the death of her son again. Hearing Kelvin mention her son again Vanessa told them that she is going inside. As she was trying to carry her food inside, Kelvin tried to help her but mistakenly put her hand in fire and it burned her hand. Alex told Kelvin to go and take care of his hand and leave the cleaning of the table for him and Kelvin left. That night, Vanessa saw Kelvin drinking and asked him about his hand, Kelvin told her that it is not that bad after that he left. Vanessa turned around and saw another Kelvin coming in with Alex she ran into her room immediately feeling like she is going crazy. She suspected that by reason why she saw two Kelvin was also related to the forest so the next day she went back to the forest. When she got to the forest, she passed in the middle of two trees but was surprised to see that what was in front of her was the same with what was in front of her. She was confused and tied a cloth on the side she came from so that she will not lost, but after going to the other part of the forest and crossed back to the side she came from, she was shocked to see that the cloth she tied on the tree is gone. She went to some tree and made mark on them. Then she crossed to the other part of the forest and came back only to see that the marks has disappeared. It was then that Vanessa realized that the tree is like a gate to different spaces and that whenever you pass through it, it will randomly take you to another space different from the one you came from. Vanessa was scared that she has been lost and ran back home. Vanessa was quiet when she got back to their house. She remembered Alex's father telling them that the forest near their house is like a gate connecting different space and that there is a possibility that they exist in other spaces. But they thought that he was crazy when he was telling them that. She tried to explain to Alex that she saw a person who looked like her in the forest and that the forest is like a gate connecting different spaces and that his father was right about the forest. But Alex didn't believe her. Alex told her that he knew that he accidentally killed their son, but she should please stop acting wired. Vanessa told him that she is the one that accidentally killed their son and not him. Alex told her that she needs to see a therapist and that the death of their son is getting to her head. Just then, Kelvin walked in and asked them what is wrong. Vanessa looked at Kevin's hand and saw that his has a bandage in his left hand but she remembered that Kelvin was wounded in his right hand that night. It was then that she realized that she is probably in another space with another Alex and another Kelvin and it started making sense to her why Alex is saying that he is the one that killed their son. It turned out that Alex of this space is the one that killed their son while in her own space, she is the one that killed their son. Vanessa felt that she is going crazy and ran out of the house back to the forest. When she got to the forest she stayed near a tree crying. She knew that she I lost and that the tree will randomly take her to another plane that she doesn't know any time she passed through it. Just then, she saw a figure coming from far. 
she pointed her gun at the figure and asked the figure who he is. The figure came close and told her that he is Alex of a different space from her own, and that he is also lost just like her. He told Vanessa to not point the gun at him and that he has been studying the tree for some time and that he will be able to help her go back home. Vanessa brought down the gun, and the Alex from another space told her that he is lost just like her and that he came to the forest to look for his own Vanessa when he got lost. After telling their stories Vanessa realized that the Alex she is with also lost his son just like her and that his wife was the Vanessa that shot her the first time she came to the forest. The Alex told her that after studying the tree for some time he had come up with with a plan. He told Vanessa that his plan is to tie a rope at the other end of the forest and then pass through the tree with the rope and tie it at the other end of the forest and that the rope will help them come back to the same space they tied it once they hold it in their hand while coming back. Vanessa was to wait and guard the ropes while Alex was to pass through the tree with it and they agreed that whenever Alex came back from any space that he should say room 1111 and Vanessa should reply bed 84 so that they will know whether it is another Alex and Vanessa or another one. They did as they planned and tied the ropes while Alex went past the tree with the rope and Vanessa stayed to guard the other end of the rope. After waiting for some time the rope started shaking, Vanessa asked who was there but got no reply so she stood up and walked past the tree as well. As she passed the tree she went to their house. When she got there she saw Alex eye the house. She said room 1111 and the Alex was confused that was when she realized that it was not the Alex she was with in the forest. She also realized that the Alex standing in front of her is her husband. She was very happy that she found her home and ran to Alex and hugged him. But as she was still excited Alex knocked him out. When she woke up again she saw Alex pointing a gun at her. Alex seemed to be going crazy as he told her that recently he has seen many Vanessa and that he has even killed one of them and that she is not his Vanessa but a ghost. Vanessa was sure that the Alex in front of her I her Alex so she tried to explain to him that she is his Vanessa and that other Vanessa he saw was not his Vanessa but Alex became even more confused. He pointed a gun at her trying to shoot her but Kelvin came and started dragging the gun with him. As they were dragging the gun, they mistakenly pulled the trigger and the bullet released and killed Alex. Vanessa was very sad and started crying because she knew that the Alex that just died I her Alex. She later went back to the forest waiting for the Alex she met at the forest. Not long, another Alex came and said room 1111, which confirmed that he is the Alex that she is waiting for so she replied bed 84. The Alex told her that he can't find his family and that he is going to another space and secretly kill the Alex there and then live there as the Alex and that he advise her to do the same. He told her that he is going to set an explosion on the tree to destroy it so she has to make her decision quickly. After that he left. As Vanessa was still thinking on what to do another Vanessa came to her. It was the Vanessa of the space they are currently in. She pointed a gun at her trying to KO kill her. Vanessa tried to calm her down by telling her that they are the same but when she saw that she could not calm her down she rushed her and pushed her down. And then killed her with a stone. After killing her she went to the house of the Vanessa she just killed. The Alex and Kelvin there seemed to not know what was happening and they took Vanessa as their own Vanessa. Vanessa also started acting like their own Vanessa and started living with them. She also found out that their son is alive in this space and so she became happy and took him as her own. The end. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you.